Rome. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Rome 300. Welcome to He Smells Like Rome. Thank you for joining me. We have another special video for you guys. Before we get into that, I want to spend, send a special shout out to Men New York, Lucky Scent, and Oswald New York for providing me with these samples. I appreciate all your generosity. Um, I did pay for them just to get that cleared up, but the fast shipping and all that stuff, man, these guys are awesome. With that said, with that said, let's go ahead and uh, talk about what I'm doing here. I'm going to be doing an annual thing. This annual thing that I do, I've done it for three years, three years possibly, um, is that you've seen the title, the top 12 to 24 fragrances I will be purchasing in the next year. So, that's self-explanatory. I purchase between 12 to 24 fragrances a year. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, and sometimes it takes longer than a year to purchase them, depending on how my budget is, you know? So, this is a hobby, and I like wearing fragrances as you already know. So, I'm gonna show you the fragrances in um, sample form that I have here that I've tested over and over again to see if I really enjoyed it, if something I wanted to add to my collection. And then, you know, hopefully by 2018 slash 2019, I'll have most of these or so all of these fragrances in my collection. So, let's start this bad boy off. Oh, before I start it off. Oh, let me back that up, back it up, back it up. Oh, let's go ahead and put the winner for the 10 samples from my four fragrances 2017. So your name will be up here. I have the 10 samples already ready for you and I'll sit those out to you. All right, let's go ahead and go back to this. We're gonna start, and this is in no particular order. All these fragrances um, smell absolutely fantastic. I have a, maybe five fragrances that I'm like really dying to get, but beyond that, all of them are awesome fragrances. They just lean a different category. So let's go ahead and start. First one I have here, is by Pathion Roma, and this one is Dolce Passion. Now I'm gonna put a picture up of all the fragrances so you know what I'm talking about. But man, short and sweet, this is one of the best gourmand fragrances I've ever seen. This is chocolate, this is uh, like hints of Cocoa, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, spices, and like fruit, like cherry, raspberry, and like amber, or even amber. It's just absolute beast of a fragrance when it comes to a gourmand. This, and this is not easy to find, but I'm gonna get a bottle of this. So that's Dolce passion. Next up, we have, this one is called Osang. Osang is from Mentally Rosa. This is, to me, and I'll give you my impression, this has a soapy, earthy, clean, powdery effect. And at first, I did not like this. When I first smelled this, I was like, oh, this is not even nowhere near as good as the hype. But I got a sample just to kind of see what it was about. And this is a showstopper, a conversation starter. Get this iris soapy, iris soap, almost rainforest type effect. This is, gotta add that to the collection. Osang from Minty La Rosa. Just beautiful fragrance. Next up, this is from By Killian. This is Amber Oud. And this has probably been one of my other um, top 24 fragrances I wanna purchase. I just haven't gotten around to it. It always kind of misses that turn because something new comes out or I just forget about the fragrance. But this is, an absolute gorgeous amber fragrance. This really doesn't have any hints of food 
maybe there's a synthetic light oud, but it's not a natural oud or anything, and a malak or woody or even has a uh, like a sweet resinous smell to it. It's just a Christmas kind of holiday vibe, sweet, syrupy, amber. I almost say sweet and dry amber, but definitely one I need to add to my collection. So, Amber Ooh from Bob Killy. Next up, we have God, I can't remember the name. I'm gonna put this is from Italy Rosa also, but I'm gonna put the name up there because the, the name it starts with an R. I know that, but. This one is, I don't even know what's in it, but it's just beautiful. I, that's all I'm gonna say. I'll put, the, I'll put the name up there, I'll put the picture up there. But trust me, this has a almost cashmere silk cotton with a really, really soft, chewy type of effect. Maybe hits virus too. This is really good. From Mitzi La Rosa. Next up, we have from House of Silage or Siage. This is HOS number one. If you like sweet candy like fragrances that just, just misses that cloying kind of effect. It's, it almost goes there, but it doesn't. Very strong at the beginning, very candy-like, this mixture of a bunch of sweet strawberry uh, fruit, tropical candy. But it's really good, really addictive. I don't know what they do. Most of their fragrances are like that. You're like, you either don't like it at first, but you keep smelling it, come back, and this one, Tell me, if you smell, you gotta put this on skin too. If you try it at the store and you smell it through the bottle or you smell it on paper, it's going to kind of put you back. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do this. But trust me, try this, put it on skin, and you'll definitely, definitely like it. Next up, we have from Mayo Fuccini. Now, you guys have seen, possibly have seen, my first impressions of their fragrance house. And this one is Older 23. This is tuberose, patchouli, and some smoky woody aspect. Gorgeous. Was trying to purchase this as soon as I smelled it, but it was just hard to find. It's still hard to find. I'm still trying to figure out where I can get it from. He doesn't ship over to America, so he has stores. And every store that I went to either don't have it or they uh, sold out. So I'm on a hunt for this one. Anybody you know, please message me, let me know. Older, Older 23 by Mail Fuccini. All right, next up is from MDCI Perfume. This one is Le Barbar Detanger. This is a classic 1950s, 60s, 70s. Barbershop, aromatic fragrance. Peppery, has lavender, has this intense shaving cream effect, but just an absolute classic barbershop fragrance that I have to have in my collection. You know, if you watch me on Instagram, you know on Fridays I put up Fresh Cut Fragrance Fridays. Pretty much every Friday. So, this one's gotta go up there. So, next up, we have from Fragrance Du Bois. This is a Middle Eastern house that is also in Paris. And the fragrance that I like kind of you know have a love-hate relationship. It has to be like some days I like it, some days I don't, but I just feel like I need it in my collection because it smells really good on the days that I really want to wear it. And that is uh, Shahar Oud. It's like a citrus oud based fragrance with woody undertone, but very, very orange, 
maybe tangerine sweet citrus notes with this thick oud syrupy type of food. But really good. Has a little bit of a BO smell behind it. But still have to have it. Next up, from my favorite house, Julian Mod. I have to get Aquasis. Just beautiful aquatic, sweet summer fragrance. Has notes that are just absolutely gorgeous when it comes to just citrus meets a sweet oceanic type of vibe. And it also has this like minty vibe to it too. Very good, very good. Fresh, uplifting fragrance. Gotta get that one. Next up, a classic fragrance. Y'all gonna kill me because I should have had it in my collection maybe two, three years ago. But once again, one of those fragrances that slip my grasp because something else comes out. And that is Spirit to de Bouvigny from Golan. One of the best fragrances in the fragrance community. Y'all already know. Y'all know this is talk of the town when it comes with vanilla, either tobacco vanille, uh, mon de oil vanille, or spiritual double vanille. And I have to get this in my collection because at first I thought it was gonna last on my skin, but once I applied it on my skin in the right uh, areas and also in the right climate, this thing performed like a pro. And it's just gorgeous. I can smell it through the bottle. Gotta get that one. All right, we moving along, y'all. Next up, from a new house. It is, this house has become a rock star in the fragrance community. A lot of people love the house. A lot of people are exploring the house. And this is uh, the Cedar, or the Ceda. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I was gonna put a picture up there. And this is a Sarah. This has the most authentic and realistic tobacco leaf smell that I've ever encountered. And when I tell you addictive, this fragrance is addictive. Man, I have to stop myself from putting this on because I'll probably already have a fragrance on and then I won't put this on and then I mess it up because now I wasted it because I got two fragrances on. And I only have a little bit left to this sample, but I'm gonna hold on to it. Absolute beautiful sweet tobacco leaf. Slightly green, but this is just tuxedo, fresh suit in a bottle. Gotta get that. Next up is from probably known as the best perfumer, best known in the game right now, and that is Roger Dove Creation Heat. Another one that has slipped my grasp. I don't need to say too much about this. Cognac, boozy, sweet, absolutely cocktail, sitting in a jazz club, going out with your boys, maybe to a casino and rocking this fragrance. Or even to a concert. Beautiful fragrance. Gotta get it in my collection. Another fragrance that I had a sample of it, but I used it up. And that is also from Roger Dove. And that is from the Night Collection, and it is number one. Very, very expensive fragrance, but it has this incense, smoky, almost soil cinnamon vibe that is like a wish come true for me. I've been looking for a fragrance like that. Unfortunately, it's out of my grasp because it's so expensive. But I am going to try my best to put that in this cage or in one of my cages because I need that fragrance. Beautiful from Roger Dove, number one. Next up, another fragrance. From Bodicea the Victorious. Y'all know I want to leave Bodicea the Victorious out. Come on now. Bodicea the Victorious, I do have two 10 mil travel atomizers for the fragrance, but I need a full bottle of this. This is legend. This is their flagship fragrance because, of course, it represents Bodicea, the Queen Bodicea, and it actually has, if you see on the picture, a statue as the cap. 
and this is the orange root iris woody powdery floral fragrance that is secret i mean nobody is talking about this fragrance and it is baffling to me maybe because of price you know both see if price is raining these but it's i think i literally think i'm the only one in the u.s that actually has this fragrance correct me if i'm wrong but this is an absolute gorgeous if you like iris if you like powdery if you like almost herbal truly with a floral aspect behind it you gotta try this one i'm giving it a full bottle even before i run out of these two i gotta get a full bottle of that just from the presentation aspect next up another fragrance from boda cedar victorious and i didn't want to put this up there because i wanted to keep it a secret but i gotta share with y'all because y'all my people you know we, we share secrets you can tell me something pm me a secret and below i won't talk about it i promise don't do that. I probably will. I'll probably put it on my Instagram. But this is prestigious. Now, the only way I can describe prestigious is imagine Mason's Francis Kirk Jones, Baccarat 540, amped up to the 10th degree, and switch out one of the fruit notes that they have with bit of orange, tangerine, and lemon. Everything else stay in there, but you mix, put those in there with this, you gotta try it. I really, really didn't wanna let anybody know about this, but this is a really good fragrance. And for a citrus fragrance, this thing lasts like 10 hours. Beautiful fragrance. Next up, we have from Replica. Replica, this is Jazz Club. Jazz Club is something I, I, I see maybe last year I came across, didn't like it too much. Smelled it on someone else, they told me what it was. I said, I need to smell it again. And now I'm just, all right, got it, I'm back. I had a little technical difficulties battery issues, but we gonna go ahead. I had to reset a couple of things. Got a little irritated, so now I got me a little drink. Finish my countdown. So, let's get back into it. I was talking about Jazz Club. So, like I said before, I got re reintroduced to it. And my wife said something that inspired me. She said to me, this fragrance is the epitome of a grown man's fragrance. And if you don't know, I love jazz music. I'm a jazz fan. I love going to live concerts. I love listening to the jazz vinyl. This just invokes that whole feeling for me. Sitting in a leather chair, having a nice whiskey drink, cognac drink with your buddies or your significant other, listening to Miles Davis or even Esperanza Spalding. This thing has a syrupy, smoky vibe cognac, maybe cigar behind it. Beautiful fragrance, gotta get that. Next up, I gotta thank my homeboy, Carlos, for introducing me to this house. This is House of Matriarch. And without him, I wouldn't even know this house existed. So a video, immediately went to Nordstrom, got me samples of the entire line that was there. And the fragrance that blew me away that I have to add to my collection is Devotion. Devotion is, simply put, well, probably the best incense based fragrance out there. This is church incense meets the Muslim guy of corner selling bean pods with the incense burning, trying to sell you uh, fragrance oils. Just absolutely gorgeous, beautiful fragrance. Devotion, gotta keep that in my collection. Next up is from actual Mid New York's um, line. This one, another one, slipped my grass a couple years ago. Thought about it, wanted to get it, something else came up. But now, gotta get this in my collection, hopefully before Christmas. This is 
the hop, and this is a smoky, like campfire, s'mores, woody, wood burning, slightly sweet, but more wood, smoky, burning, in the forest type of smell. Absolute gorgeous fragrance, man. Just absolute gorgeous. You gotta check the notes out. If you can chance, check the notes out, then you will definitely wanna try this fragrance out. Next up, we have, and I just need to stop here and let you guys know. Y'all need to stop hating on this house. I hear a lot, I mean, an overwhelming amount of hate for Cloud Christian. And I'm here to tell you, Cloud Christian is back. They are dropping some bangers right now. They are on fire. And when I tell you, this fragrance called Immortel by Cloud Christian is a winner. This will be probably the next fragrance I purchased besides the last fragrance I'm gonna show you. That's how good this is. And if you don't know, I really like Immortel because it has this spicy Caribbean type of herb behind it. And this one is done so pleasantly and so well and is so manly. Love this fragrance. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're a confident woman, you can pull this off, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful Immortel fragrance by Cloud Christian. Check it out, guys. Next up, from Evanescence, Evanescence. This is Musk Ambulance. Simply put, it smells like a sweet, slightly dry amber with a musky, sweaty, overlay, even base, and it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. This dry, almost powder-like amber. And the musk, it's beautiful. And usually when fragrances have that little um, clear color, it's not really strong. This thing is borderline beast mode. This thing lasts all day on my skin. Until I wash it off. Next day, sometimes. Gotta get this in my collection. Next up, we have from my favorite house. This is Julie Mod. And this is Fugitive More. Fugitive More is an army of notes. Just a field of notes. One side, 10,000 soldiers. Another side, 10,000 soldiers. And the notes just clash. And combine and make this beautiful abstract fragrance that I still, to this day, I've had this fragrance for about two months. Sample, travel spray, and I cannot describe this. This is citrus, licorice, pepper, woody, spicy, it's absolutely bonkers, and it's so good. I gotta get a bottle of this. I, I don't even know how to handle with that, but this needs to be purchased. Next up is from the house called the Spirit of Dubai. Masterpiece. This is Magetis. This is dates, dry fruit, herbal, smoky, woody, oud, sweet, sweet, sweet fragrance. bottle says it all. You see, if you have pictures up there, you gotta see the bottle. Just from the bottle I expect, I said I had to get this. I had no idea what it smelled like, but I'm definitely sure. Next one, I don't have a bottle of also, but it's from the same house, but they're chapter two. It's called Nijedis, Nijedi. Just from the bottle, black rose on the top, rose-based fragrances, I think like three or four different types of roses. It has fruit, it has oud, patchouli. The best rose fragrance I've ever smelled. Let's talk about the bottle for a second. Just that bottle. Whoever created that needs to get a raise, period. They need a raise, they need to be commended. That was absolutely gorgeous. The presentation is probably the best presentation I've ever seen. Gorgeous fragrance. I ran out of the sample, so I don't have it. But I'm getting that in my collection. The fragrance is crazy. Shit is like $1,500. But I have to have it. Last but not least, and I didn't, I mean, probably subconsciously I left this out last, but next fragrance, I have to get Evanescence. Oud Patchouli or Patchouli Oud. 
it's what it says patchouli herbal soil like dirty patchouli with woody undertone almost kind of a sparkling effect behind it like a champagne sparkle with the earthy patchouli with the wood and this shit is addictive this shit is stalkerish boyfriend tip like I'm, I'm behind the bushes, behind the skinny tree, waiting for you to come outside so I can smell you. Gotta have this fragrance. And I'm serious. You gotta get this one. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm praying that I can get this one for Christmas. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little emotional here because it's so good. But I know this is a pretty long video. Sorry. Take too long, cut it off, come back, watch. But that is my top 24 fragrances that I plan to purchase by 2018, 2019. Like I said, hopefully I'll get all of them by that time. But if I don't, this journey continues. This is a beautiful hobby. Love doing this and I want to continue doing it. I want to spread love and also positivity when it comes to doing this. No negativity. I mean, sometimes I want to rant about some crazy shit, but um, I love what I do. This is a hobby to me. This is not anything else but that. It's just fun and I love doing it. So, hopefully you guys like my video. Please subscribe, hit that bell icon to get more content and send me a message. Tell me what your fragrances that you plan on picking up. Tell me if you want to know where you can get these fragrances from. All right? All right, guys. Just want to say thank you for watching. And like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like Rome. I'll check you guys out in the next review, in the next video. I'm out. Peace.